I'm probably never going to make it because I'm short. I won't, I won't be able to go pro. Or I'm a giant, so I'm just too slow. I can't. I'm, I'm giving up. Cheers, guys. Guys, you're wondering, you are a very tall player. You're wondering if it's worth it for you to give it a go in tennis. Or you're very short and you're not sure. Listen, it feels like a huge disadvantage because everyone's bigger than you. Um, I mean, you can just, there's pictures on the internet of uh, Schwarzman and Isner. You can see the difference. It's actually quite funny, but they're both very, very good tennis players. What I want to do though today is I want to help you if you're a short player or if you're a very big player. I want to help you and, and, and just help you to, to focus on the right things in those situations, okay? Let's focus on when you're short. When you're short, the first thing you have to realize is your serve will not be as big as a tall player, okay? So is it <coughs> good to focus on your serve? Yes, but is it going to be a weapon? No. So don't put all your focus there. What can be a weapon when, when you're very short? You can be extremely fast on the court, okay? If you're a short player, forget about having the biggest shots. Work on them, but forget about having the bigger shots. Focus on having the biggest legs and being extremely quick on the court, okay? So the only way you're gonna be able to compete as a short player is you need to be physically a machine, okay? It's possible if you focus on your legs, fitness, explosive power, be the quickest on the court because you're shorter, you have less body weight to carry around, okay? Now, if you're a giant, what automatically happens if you're very, very tall? You're gonna be slower. You're gonna be slower on the court. Things will be just be slower. Most very tall players are just a little bit slower on the court. They do focus very hard on becoming quick, but they'll never be one of the quickest players on the court, unfortunately. What do they, what do they have? They all have big serves if they work on it. So if you are a tall player, make sure that you develop your serve. Use that advantage of serving down a little bit. Your biggest focus should be, along with everything else, but your biggest focus should be have one of the biggest, biggest serves, okay? Now, if I'm, a, uh, if I'm a short player playing against a tall player, here's what I would say. Um, get them to move. Get them to move. They don't want to move around. All they want to do is they want to bang balls and they want to over overpower you, okay? One way you can do that is also understand uh, a player is also very slow with their hands. So um, one little tip you can do against tall players is serve to their bodies. Serve to their bodies because for them it's very easy to, to stretch because they're tall. If you serve into their body, they're slow, they can't really get it. Okay, if you're a tall player, if you're a tall player playing against a short player, uh, obviously what you want to do is you want to you overpower them as much as possible. You gotta be aggressive. As soon as you get into long rallies, they're gonna, they're gonna outlast you. Uh, same thing on the serve, when you're playing a short player, don't serve into the body because they're very quick. They are extremely quick, but they're short. So when you serve wide, okay. they won't be able to get there. Those are just, that's just one tactic for, for each player, but I, want, I wanted to just help you guys understand that it's not a disadvantage if you are tall or short, if you know what to focus on. Okay guys, short little video for you. I hope that helps you. Keep pushing. See you for my next video.